Hey everyone, Matt here again. We're going to be doing a deep dive analysis of Enter Sandman by Metallica, performed in Mexico City in 2009. So let's not wait any longer, let's get to it. Here we go. Nice. A little ambiance. One of the most famous intros in all of metal. They're getting revved up, man. They're down low. They're gonna start rising. They're gonna start building things up here. Crowd is just going nuts. Yeah, look at bass player Rob. He's grooving out. Look at that. Totally get the getting the crowd going. Looking them in their eyes. It's like. Come on, let's build this. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Crowd is just totally into it. I wonder if this is the opening song of the performance. Not really sure. The big build. Oh wow! Look at that. That is intense. The lights to go along with that. Yes. Into the verse. Okay, if, if I'm, I'm gonna rewind this a little. If you can hear this, you can hear James Hetfield's pick, right? He's holding his pick a little sideways. You can hear the pick hitting the edge of his strings when he's jamming on that low E string. Listen to that. It's that little You can kind of hear that. Let's hear it again. Yeah, you gotta listen really carefully, but it's in there. Of course, now that I said that, you're gonna be listening to that. You're gonna be listening for that the whole rest of the uh, song here. But just try to like live in the moment here. Let's enjoy the performance. So again, a lot of times bands, when they play live, will add little um, nuances that you wouldn't hear in the studio performance. Listen, listen to Lars's hi-hats. That was cool. End of the pre-chorus here. Most songs are in the key of E that uh, Metallica writes. Um, and then we modulate into F sharp here, a whole step up from the E, just to kind of change things up for this pre-chorus. Into the chorus. Nice. Look at that, I love Rob. Rob's stage performance is amazing, the bass player. Kirk with the the lead. Ooh, okay. So Kirk changed his little lead part up there a tiny bit. Let's hear that again. This is, again, something a little different than uh, the, the studio performance. I like it. Yeah, Lars showing off there. Little backing vocals with Rob. Oh, that was cool. I like that. Good job there, Kirk. A little something extra. Again, something extra different than the typical studio performance. James getting the, getting the crowd going big time. Yeah, I love it when Lars stands up. All right, into the solo. Man, he's got that wah, wah pedal dia dialed in. Yeah. Man. They are so loose right now. little alteration at the end. 
Ah, the middle part. Q in the backing track. Into the pre-chorus again. A little more subtle. Ha! <laughs> yeah, James. Totally getting the crowd into it. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that was cool. A little repeat of the chorus, right? Just like the studio version. Okay, you could tell they're gonna hold this out. Cause Lars is off his drum set right now. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna just show off here a little bit. Get into the intensity of the song. Get in the crowd a, a, little, a little chance uh, to breathe here. Yeah. Letting that yeah, letting that feedback ring out. Oh, yeah. And this is so typical of Metallica live performances. It's been a long time since I've seen them while uh, uh, live. Oh, yeah. It's been uh, since the 90s, since the last time I saw them. Back into it. Q in. Ah, oh, more lights. More pyrotechnics. Awesome. Yeah, most likely to be a extended outro. A lot of times uh, with bands, you hardly see them fade the song out live. That's kind of tough to do. So they're just gonna extend the outro. This would probably be, be, be uh, fading out right now in the studio performance. Oh, that's cool. Kirk adding a little something extra. Again, different from the studio performance. Ya da dee da da. That's cool. I like that. Let's hear that again. I like that. Ya da dee da da. Let's see if he does it again. Yeah. Oh, he didn't. Because that's the end of it. Holding on to that. Oh. He had me hanging on the edge of my seat here. Yeah, shred away, buddy. Who doesn't love the E minor pentatonic scale, right? Makes me wish I had long hair again. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much. You make feel good. Thank you. Wow, that was awesome. Maybe that was the last song of their set. This is fun to do, and I hope you're enjoying it at home. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.